लेजर इन गायनकोलॉजी स्टेप बाय स्टेप वर्कशॉप लेजर स्ट्रोस्कोपिक वर्कशॉप फॉर इंडोमेट्रियल पैथोलॉजी ऑफ इट्रेस सो दिस इज डिफरेंट मिनिमल इन्वेजिव सुपर मिनिमल इन्वेजिव सर्जरी वी फॉलो इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ग्लोबल कम्युनिटी स्ट्रोस्कोप हटास सो वी यूज डायोड लेजर इन गायनकोलॉजी वी यूज द एक्सेसरीज ऑफ बेर फाइबर एंड कोनिकल फाइबर थाउजेंड माइक्रॉन्स सो द यू नो द बायोफिजिक्स डायोड लेजर मैकॉनिक्स एंड बायोफिजिक्स इट कट्स एंड कोएगलेट सो प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लेजर फोटो अब्लेशन फोटो कोएगलेशन फोटो वेपराइजेशन इंडिकेशन फॉलोस दिस आर द इंडिकेशन वी डू ए डायोड लेजर इन स्टोस्कोप If you see this, how coagulate the vessel? It is not a coagulation. Even it cuts also. That is the beauty of diode laser. It simultaneously coagulate and cuts. Now you can see the how the coagulation is happening. A bleeding vessels in the stroboscope. Now you can see the bleeding vessel stop. Now you can another property. You see this cutting. so that is the beauty of 1470 diode laser you can use the stroboscope simultaneously it cuts and coagulate so here the bleeding stops and it cutting property so the visualization in the stroboscope very very clearly so that is the reason we always prefer an intra uterine pathology stroboscopic the energy we use the diode laser you see this is a a fiber and uh, it is 1000 micron size it is double fiber than the varicose veins and proctology the size is a bigger size it fit the five french it fit the five french now you can see the a polyp case how precisely implantation site we are cutting now you can see you thought a drop of blood you thought a drop of blood we are cutting you see so the vision is clarity and where you are cutting where you are coagulating you can see this by is if you do resectoscope 26 french very difficult to cut that plane the bending or the inclination so it is possible in the only laser silica fiber by diode laser in stroboscope so now it is detached next case is a subseptum or septum we can see the laser metroplasty we have lot of studies lot of articles presentation we use a laser the volume of endometrium is more so infertility this is the best uh, efficacy and it is practicable because the penetration depth is 1 mm the heat spreading is also 1 mm so the endometrial damage very very minimal compared to other energy so that is a reason we use this type of laser so when you are bleeding also you can manage with laser when you are doing metroplasty a hypervascular uterus you can do the uh, you can you can manage the how the you can cutting and coagulation intermittently and simultaneously so that is a reason is a better than the resectoscope and uh, its efficacy in the even infertility endometrial protection endometrial damage very very minimum so this is the a compact instrument of air photonics equipment and uh, it we use uh, a laser in the stroboscope so it's a very very compact and uh, see the how how you are cutting and the inclination the specification precision very 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 exactly coming to coming to the sub mucus fibroid if you go 0 1 2 we have a fugo classification lasmar classification so this type of fibroid you can manage with a laser diode laser 1470 there are two three studies you can extract the mass or you can just keep in mass after renucleation after two months automatic it expulsion there are dr sajjo haimovich barcelona spain he has done lot of research he has done lot of cases he present lot of things for just he nucleate the fibroid and keep in the endometrial cavity of within the two months it automatic it falls it it expel 
this is the beauty of this for infertility cases when you are doing a resectoscope slight slides a lot of endometrial damage so the technique you use here is crown cutting we use crown cutting the fibroid endometrium then we use the forceps so you see how we are doing forceps forceps it just uh, and the creates a plane plane of cleavage just expanding and the instrument movement just rotation and twisting and twisting just separating from the pseudo capsule the beauty you should know the anatomy of pseudo capsule you should always a fibroid between pseudo capsule you have to separate you use the laser there cut the fiber we use the scissor we cut the fiber we use the forceps to separate and then we can move movement we can do from the fibroid bed so this is the beauty of laser enucleation of submucous myoma there are lot of alternate like a tcrm trans cervical resection myomectomy needs more more training more bigger instrument inside and lot of uh, fluid disturbances so the, this is a second case we are crown cutting the myoma and between we are separating from the myometrium pseudo capsule and the myoma so you see the how is cutting from the lateral wall of the myometrium to the endometrium and uh, it is from the other uh, you can see the bleeding how you coagulate so this is called crown cutting and bleeding coagulation we are separating from the pseudo capsule a plane of cleavage with a four steps we use a scissor five french instruments so the, that that is a re, you can separate from the in uh, myoma bed from the myometrium to the uterus to the separating and you can pull leave it in the endometrial cavity it falls automatically we follow the doctor sergio haimovich he is from the barcelona he is uh, articles he studies see see the how the bed of the this one this is a very this one it's very very specific coming to the asserman syndrome a lot of adhesions you see intrauterine we use the laser here here you can use the holmium laser or thulmium laser even diode laser so more watts required here you see the how white fibrous band it's cutting so here the asserman syndrome we use the laser we use the forceps we use the scissor also sometimes so after cutting the laser a flimsy bands you can simply we can cut cold scissor and you can just with with even forceps all endometrial cavity you can see after that you take the ovum pickup needle prepare the prp platelet rich plasma sub endometrial four spots anterior posterior and lateral you give a four spots for the prp for three settings different endometrial thickness will improve endometrial quality will improve and you can done the great the next case is isthmocil for us isthmocil early grade 1 grade 2 or early stages you can do the just isthmocil repair a extensive debridement you just use the laser you can cut the fibrous tissue you can cut the all inflammatory tissue and all the pathological tissue just you do the debridement you do the laser you excise all the tissue etla and the previous cesarean scar uh, that is called nikke place that nikke and you just excise all the area coagulate the bleeding and you just resurfacing that it's a very recovery it's a very very day care procedure and the patient has a lot of change like a compared to the hysterectomy you can avoid the hysterectomy that is the beauty of the laser you can have a multiple indication even you can use the uh, diode laser in the hysteroscope so because today is laser we are using in cosmetic gynecology proctology varicose veins thyroid so many this is dermal that's a dermal treatment so it's a very very compact Okay thank you